Caitlin. Take Jake to the bathhouse and bring her the outfit I picked out. Once those are finished, bring her to my chambers. <laughs> and in we go. And whoa! This place is so fancy. I guess this is what it's like them in the palace. I guess that's where clowns are. Okay, well, I'll just get in. Oh my goodness, this feels amazing. What was that? I guess it was nothing. What do we have here, a peeping Tom? Before what? Ugh, what a pervert. Who was he anyway? I didn't manage to see his face very well. He had enough skill to knock my kunai out of my hand and shove against a wall. That was the first. Assassin? No, he wouldn't be caught off guard so easily. No way he's a thief. His clothes are too clean. He has too few of his scars. Hmm... Uh, nothing! I'm coming out! Yeah, I just flipped and fell back into the pool on accident. <laughs> Yes? Uh, what is it? Um, well, it's... It, it's personal. I, I just can't. Of course not. Kate, I would never. There's my shining star. Jade, darling, you're gorgeous. Thank you, your highness. You made the right choice with this outfit. <laughs> Darn right I did. The sign looks amazing with your skin tone. You could be my daughter with all your good looks. But darling, why are you wearing a veil? Oh, your highness, I cannot remove it. Nonsense, Jade. It is not a part of you. Simply remove it from your face so I may see your complete beauty. Your highness, I beseech you to reconsider. Is it really that important for you to keep it on? Yes, your majesty. I, I swore to my parents I would never remove my veil in front of others. I must honor my vow. As you wish, Jade, you may keep it on. But at least choose a color that matches your outfit. Green is not working for me. Use a white or a teal one. Yes, your highness. Now, Jade, I have an errand for you. I have this squirrel. I need to take it to the chief of decor. He should be in council right now. Please deliver this to him directly. I give you the seal. You can't enter any place a normal servant cannot enter. I require the seal upon your arrival. By the way, darling, don't mind Garte. He's kind of a flirt, but he does that naturally. Pay no mind to him. The scroll is very important to get to him as soon as possible, and don't let anyone other than Garte see it. It's a very touchy subject to everyone else. Yes, your highness. Well, get on, darling. Don't keep Garte waiting. As you wish. Mm. 
Now, Kate, I want you to take me to the river. I want to sail. Okay, I got the Queen's Amulet and the Scroll for Carte. Now I just need to find the council room. Yeah. Wonder where that is. Mm. Ah! Excuse you! What are you doing? What do you mean I should apologize? There's like so much room here. You can like just step to one side or, you know, like not be in the way. Excuse you. Don't call me a girl. Oh, can't believe him. Ugh. Just left. Hey, don't call me little. I'm short. I do say so. Um, you wouldn't know a man named Garte, would you? <laughs> and I am Jade, the master of finding, not finding anything, and the most beautiful woman in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yes, um, I have a scroll for you. It's from Her Majesty. Oh, what's on it? Um, I could do it for you. No, if you want. <laughs> Let me worry about that. Come on, show me the way. Please. <laughs> okay. Oh, just let me worry about that. <laughs> here. Let's just go up here. There we go. Now just put this here and here. There we go.